everybody. I have been so lucky lately. My book mail has been so fantastic. So many amazing books have arrived that I cannot wait to read. And moreover, I cannot wait to tell you all about them. So let's get started. Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. It's Russell with Ink and Paper Blog. How are you all doing today? I hope you are happy. I hope you are healthy. And of course, I hope you're reading a book or two or three or four and really loving it. It has been a good book year, has it not? Today it is all about the amazing titles that have shown up in my book mail lately. I have to tell you, I have been utterly blessed with the amount of titles that have shown up lately and they are so exciting. So first off, a huge thank you to all of the publishers that have been sending me books lately. I could not do this channel without you guys, and I just am so, so thankful that you guys send me books and gift me books. Really big thank you. But that means that I'm here to make your TBR explode. So get ready, get out your pen, get out your paper, get out your Goodreads, however you keep track of your TBR. If you are so able, order a book or two from your local independent bookstore. You know the books, the bookstores love it, you know the authors love it, you know the publishers love it. If you are a library user, will you please, will you please have your library get these on their lists as soon as possible so you can get your hands on them. Now I have quite a stack here. I'm gonna to try to talk fast. To be honest, I've been trying to talk about them all afternoon and my tongue has been tied. So hopefully I'll do better this time. The first book I wanna tell you about is Everyone Knows Your Mother is a Witch by Rivka Glatchen. This is out from FSG on 6-8-2021. Now I normally would never read a book that's publishing that far in advance, but I have already read this book because I picked it up off of my stack. I was organizing. Oh, I'm gonna flip a couple pages. A hundred pages later, another day later, I was done. So there you go. This is the story of Katerina. I believe that is how you say her name, Katerina. Set in the 1600s in a little town, I believe in Germany, where she is accused of being a witch. Well, she's really accused of sort of giving this wine or making this woman drink something that caused her to have issues, which sort of just snowballs into this whole witch accusation. And what the book is about, really, is about how that accusation takes off spreads like fire, how it affects not only Katerina, but her family, her friends, and her whole entire town. It's told really interestingly in sort of like a journal format. Now, Katerina cannot read or write, so her friend Sam Simon takes down all of her thoughts. Simon interjects with his own perspective at times. We get interviews from people with accusations. We sort of see the absurdity of it all. I would say this is a mixture of Alias Grace by Margaret Atwood, The Crucible by Arthur Miller, with a sly, dark sense of humor underlying it all. Highly recommend Everyone Knows Your Mother is a Witch by Rivka Glatchen. This is out again on June 8th, 2021 from FSG. So yeah, you know it has to be good if I read it that far out, guys. You know? Um, this book, Bailey, I may have screamed a little when it arrived, and that's Whereabouts. Let me hold that up because it's a small little one by Jhumpa Lahiri. This is out from Kanaf on May 4th, 2021. I am a huge Jhumpa Lahiri fan. I have read both of her short story collections. I have read Namesake. I have read both of her translation of, is it Dar Dominique Starnon's novels for Europa? She has a third one coming out. Those of you guys that have follow her may know that she has been, over the last few years, I think it's been 10 years since she's put out her own book. Um, she's been learning Italian and she's clearly very, very good at it now. She's translated. She's been nominated for the National Book Award and translated fiction. But she wrote Whereabouts in Italian first and then translated it into English. So that's going to be a fascinating take uh, uh, in, in its own way. But all I know about this book is it's the story of, of a woman and sort of her, her thoughts about where she belongs. I don't want to know too much more about it. I have a feeling this book is going to get a ton of hype. And you know that I am just obsessed with Jhumpa Lahiri, so I do not want any of that to ruin it. But I am so, so excited. So that's Whereabouts by Jhumpa Lahiri. This is out on May 4th, 2021. Get on board. If you um, haven't read any Jhumpa Lahiri, just start. Start at the beginning. Start with the Interpreter of Maladies, um, which won her the Pulitzer. And then just go from there, y'all. Just go from there because it's really worth your time because she is a literary genius. 
The next book that I want to tell you about is a book that has been on my radar for some time, and I'm super excited for it, and that's Liberty by Caitlin Greenidge, and I hope I'm saying that right. And this is out from Algonquin Books. It comes out on May 30th, 2021. Now, this is sort of inspired by the real life of two women. One is a, the first is a woman, a black woman who was one of the first black female doctors in the United States. I believe she was the third and she was the first one in New York City. So we, and we, uh, the story of her and her daughter and what uh, um, Caitlin has done is she has fictionalized that. Uh, the daughter is sort of expected to follow in her mother's footsteps, but instead she marries a clergyman and she winds up returning to Haiti and finding out that you can't run away from thoughts, uh, expectations and your family. Things don't always get easier if you leave those situations. And in Haiti, she has her own issues. This book deals with race, colorism, family, um, expectations, all of that stuff. And one, this cover is freaking beautiful. Um, and I'm super, super excited about it. Um, this book was blurred by Brandon Taylor, Garth Greenwell, and uh, Mira Jacobs. So if you need any more people telling you to read it. So get your hands on it. Liberty by Caitlin Greenidge. This is out from Algonquin Books on March 30th, 2021. Okay. I first read about this book and I really just gravitated towards it because it's set in Portland and you guys know, well, you may not know, Portland is my favorite city in the United States. I would live there in an absolute second if I could, um, not only because Powell's there. I actually love the city as well. And this is The Night Always Comes by Willie Vlotten. This is out from Harper Books and it comes out in April of 2021. This is the story of a young woman. I think she's like around 30 years old. She lives with her mother and her younger brother who is developmentally developmentally disabled and she is trying to buy the house in which they live in order to sort of give them some stability and she's going in she's coming up with her part of the down payment and her mother's part of the down payment is taken away because the mother gets cold feet and so she now has to come up with all of the money herself and set over only a couple of days this is a story of a woman who is really trying any way possible to come up with the money to buy this house to take care of her family. Um, I think that sounds really, I bet it's going to be sort of heart racing because you're going to want what's good for this family. You're going to want her to succeed, but you know she's going to run into some people that are just not going to help her out and it's going to have those twists and turns. So I'm really excited about The Night Always Comes by Willie Evalton. This is out from Harper in April of 2021. Okay, I'm doing pretty good. I'm doing pretty good. Not taking too long. We're going to move on to The Mission House by Carrie's Davies. This is out from Scribner and it goes on sale. Actually, this just came out because I just saw it in the bookstore. So you can get your hands on this one right now. This one is set um, in, well, so the main character is from India. His name is Hillary and he moves to South India. Let me just make sure I get this right. He takes refuge in a former British hill station in South India. He really likes where he lives. He lives in a mission house and he um, is sit, sits beside the local presbytery where the Padre and his adoptive daughter Priscilla have taken Hillary under their wing. The Padre is concerned for Priscilla's future, and as Hillary's friendship with the young woman grows, he begins to wonder whether his purpose lies in the new relationship. But religious tensions are brewing, and the mission house may not be as safe as it always was. Now, Carrie's Davies wrote West, um, which I read a couple of years ago, and I absolutely loved it so much. Um, so I'm super excited to see what she's going to do next. So that's The Missions House by Carrie Davies. This is out on out. Now you can get your hands on it. Scribner, thank you. This book just came to me. So I'm so excited you guys can get your hands on it too. I don't know if you guys remember a few years ago that there was this book on the Bu Booker shortlist called Elmnet by um, Fiona Mosley, and it was sort of, it was a debut novel. We found out she had like written it on her phone and it was phenomenal. Well, her second book is coming out and that is Hot Stew. It is coming out in America from Algonquin Books on April 20th, 2021. Let's just take a moment for that cover, right? So this is the story of a woman who in, um, is trying to buy a building, I believe, in Soho, and she wants to buy it, kick out all of the tenants, and turn it into luxury condos. And 
as you can imagine, there are going to be tenants in it that do not want to be kicked out. And a couple of them belong, there's actually a, like a brothel that's being run out of this building. And two of the young women that are part of that brothel are having none of it. And they're going to fight back. And as they fight back, the uh, millionaire's story sort of comes out. Where does her money come from? Who is she? And then we get to sort of meet some of the characters who have come into the building. I think it's going to be such a ride. I am so excited about it. Now, it sounds so different than Elmnet that I am so fascinated to see how Fiona Mosley does in her second book. So, Hot Stew, Fiona Mosley, out from Algonquin Books on April 20th, 2021. I could not be more excited. I loved Elmnet so, so much. Okay, we're going to take a moment and just talk about how beautiful this cover is, and then we'll talk about the book. This is The Arsonist's City, and this is by Hela Alan, and this is out from... Um, HMH, and I believe this is out really soon, or just came out. Sorry, I don't have the paper that's in it. But this is going to be for those of you that love a family saga. This is a family that comes from many different backgrounds. It says here that the mother is Syrian, the father is Lebanese, and all three children are American. They have lived their life in constant migration. They are spread out all over the world. But one thing that has always held them very close is a family home in Beirut. And the uh, patriarch of the family dies, so the new patriarch has decided to sell that home in Beirut and the whole family comes together to try to stop him from doing just that and we're going to get the big family tale we're going to get all how all of their lives have been and all of the connections I am really excited about this so that's The Arsonist's City by Hela Alam this is out Alan I'm sorry I put an M on the end and this is out from HMH and I bet you can get your hands on it fairly soon and just love that cover okay I am going to struggle so hard with uh, the title of this book, you guys. And this is Prosopognosia by Sonia Hernandez. This is coming out from Scribe, and I apologize, that word. Um, this is the story of a 15-year-old girl, and what this word means is... Um, there's a game where you hold your breath until you can't really even see yourself in the mirror anymore. And it's like you hold your breath so long, sort of vision takes over. You lose sort of a sense of self. You faint at, is what eventually will wind up happening. This young girl has sort of been struggling and she sort of has been living her life with this game in the background. Um, it's a story of that. It's the story of her mother trying to make a life for her daughter. And then there's also another character and I guess a rich artist that comes in and uh, he winds up seeing this young girl faint and gives her a painting of his and how all of that sort of comes together in, in this story and this sense of self and all of that kind of stuff. Um, this is translated, I want to say it's from the Spanish, by Samuel Rudder. So I want to give Samuel his due. So again, this is, I'm so sorry, Prosopognosia. And that's by Sonia Hernandez, out from Scribe, translated from the Spanish by Samuel Rudder. So, there you go. I think that sounds interesting. Sometimes I remember those games we used to play as a child to disconnect ourselves from what was really going on. I'm very interested in that one. Um, the publisher actually asked me if I wanted a copy of this book, and once I read about it, I was like, send it my way. That is Silence is a Sense by Leila Alamar. And I'm going to hold that up. But this comes out on March 16th, 2021. Now, I believe that she has other books published in the UK. Um, so this is her first US book, I believe, but not her first novel. This is the story of a woman. She, is, she lives in an apartment in the UK. She is, has been traumatized so much from flee, fleeing Syria, fleeing what was going on there. She flees across Europe, winds up in the UK, and the trauma has been so much that she just doesn't speak. Her only connection to the world is a column that she writes, and I, I'm gonna, um, for a magazine under the pseudonym The Voiceless, trying to explain her own refugee experience without revealing anything about herself. But she starts to expand. She starts to go out of her, her place. She goes to the bookstore. She goes, she starts to become part of the community when a hate crime occurs that sort of throws everything in disarray. Will she continue to be voiceless? Will she continue to just be an observer? Or will she actually take action within her new community? 
I think that sounds amazing. So that is Silence is a Sense by Leila Alamar. This is out again from Algonquin on March 16th, 2021. I think that sounds so good. Okay, another book that I may have or may not have squealed when it arrived, I will deny, but I'm sorry, when a new Kazuisha girl shows up in the mail, you just sort of get excited. And this is Clara and the Sun by Kazuo Ishigura. This is coming out from Kanaf. And I want to say that this comes out in March as well. Yes, it comes out just around the corner, you guys. It comes out on March 2nd, which is only a couple weeks away now. Um, all I know about this one is that this is a story. The main character is an artificial friend. Um, I started the first chapter. She's in the store waiting to be purchased. And she remains purchased that the right... Uh, remains purchased. She remains hopeful that the right person person will purchase her and take her home. And it says, um, but when she'll remain hopeful that customer will soon choose her, but when the possibility emerges that her circumstances may change forever, Clara is warned not to invest too much in the promise of humans, which this is going to be a social commentary. Kazuo Ishiguro is phenomenal at social commentary. Um, and I, it has sort of that sci-fi bend um, that he does so very, very well. I'm really excited about this book. I am trying to remain spoiler-free. So that's Clara and the, uh, and the Sun by Kazuo Ishiguro. This is um, out from Kanaf, and it comes out on March 2nd, 2021. Okay, two more books, you guys. That's it, y'all. Two more books. I was a huge fan of Kate Hope Day's debut novel, If Then. And I may have actually already talked about this book on my channel at one time or another, but I want to make sure that you guys get this one on your radar. And this is out from Random House. It comes out on March 2nd as well. It's In the Quick by Kate Hope Day. And this is a sci-fi book. It's set in the future. We have a young woman who is a, um, you know what, I'm going to just let the book do the speaking itself. June is a brilliant but difficult girl with a gift for mechanic invention who leaves home to begin um, a grueling astronaut training program. Six years later, she's given a position on the space station and um, a ship that her uncle created the um, jet propulsion system for, I believe, goes missing. But she doesn't think it's missing. She thinks there's something out there. So she winds up going and finding sort of her uncle's prodigy who has his own issues as you can imagine their relationship has to be complicated but they both believe that there should be a search going on for this ship and that's what the book is all about so that's in the quick by kate hope day this is out on march 2nd 2021 from random house and yeah i'm super excited about that one i may wait to read that one closer because i just feel like sometimes science fiction and i i like to listen to the audio as i read it so that may be what I do there. A book that I actually already talked about a little bit in my last TBR video, but I wanted to make sure if you didn't see that one, you saw it in a book haul, is Superhost by Kate Russo. Now, Kate Russo has a very famous, very famous relative in Richard Russo. You may have heard of him. You may have heard of him. And this is her debut novel. I'm really excited about this book. This is the story of an artist who his wife has left him. He's going through a divorce and his art is sort of not selling anymore. So he winds up moving into his studio and he puts his, his actual main home on a website where people can rent it. You know, we would call, I think it's called air bed in this book. Um, and what happens is these people come in and rent his house and his relationship with them maybe uh, changes his perspective on maybe what the future really does hold and what he is going to do now that his life is in a bit of disarray. He can do with it what he wants. But these people have an effect on him and he has an effect on them. So this is out now. You can get your hands on Superhost by Kate Russo. I just saw it in the store myself and I am going to be reading it very, very soon. So thank you very, very much, Putnam. I'm very excited about this one. So that is quite a stack, you guys. I'm hoping it doesn't fall over as I finish this video over here. As always, if you are a return subscriber, I could not do this without you. Thank you so very, very much. If you are new to my channel, I hope you stick around. And there it went. That, that was the filing of the pile. Um, I hope you stick around. I hope you subscribe. And of course, I hope you like to read books. As always, I encourage you to read... Uh, read... I'm having a day, y'all. I'm just telling you, I'm having a day. I encourage you to shop locally, read globally, and until next time, I wish you happy reading. Bye.